Hello everyone, I'm Kenneth Wong, the author of Easy Burmese and Survival Burmese, both from Tuttle Publishing, and I teach beginning and intermediate Burmese at UC Berkeley. Welcome to a new episode of Intermediate Burmese. Since you're checking out intermediate materials, you might already know how to say simple things like I read a book, drink some tea, or watch a movie. But how would you say I begin reading a book? continue drinking tea or watch a movie again. In the next seven minutes or so, I'll teach you how to say all of these, so stay with me. Let's start with something simple. Meaning, this morning I wrote poetry. A quick breakdown. Dimanet means this morning. Chano is I, male, polite, first person pronoun. If you're a woman, then you should say chama, the female first-person polite pronoun. Gabya is poetry. Jire, the last part, is the operative verb that means to write in affirmative form. Dimane chano gabya jire. Dimane chano gabya jire. This morning, I wrote poetry. But if you add one little twist, if you say instead, Dimane chano gabya sa jire. That means this morning I began writing poetry or I started writing poetry. The extra word that goes before the main verb is sa. sa. So instead of ye, you say sa. Jere. By itself, the word sa means to begin, as in to begin a program, to begin a trip, or to begin a movie. When it precedes the main verb, it means to begin doing that action or to start doing that action. For example, nyaza sa chette, to begin cooking dinner. Kofi sa pyore, to begin making coffee. Mo sa yuare, to begin raining. You might also hear these statements ending in B or B, as in nyaza sa chepi for I began cooking dinner, kofi sa pyo bi for I started making coffee, and mo sa yuabi for it has started raining. They mean exactly the same thing, but the sentence end B emphasizes the action has been initiated or has started. It doesn't say anything about the completion of the action. This may sound like nitpicking, but the distinction is important for advanced Burmese grammar. You say it differently to talk about actions that are fully completed or over from start to finish. Back to our sentence about writing poetry. This morning I began writing poetry. Other variations. Right this moment, right now. I started making coffee. mo sa juame. Tomorrow it will start raining. With one simple change, you can say I continue doing something. Let me show you. sa This morning I began writing poetry. This morning I continued writing poetry. The difference is the word se that precedes the main verb ye to write. Sa ye is to begin writing. Se ye is to continue writing. The word se by itself means to connect, to join. But when you place it in front of the main verb, it shows you continue doing that particular action. With that in mind, I think you can figure out what I'm saying when I say nyaza se chete. Yes, that means I continued making dinner. Or Coffee se piore. I continued making coffee. I'll give you some other variations. Tu the chen se sore. He or she continued to sing. Jano bamalo se piome. I'll continue speaking in Burmese. Jano inglelo se pio piaze. Please allow me to continue speaking in English. In other words, please allow me to continue in English. Now let's talk about repeating an action. Chano di gabya pachende means I want to read this poem. Chano di gabya pachende. A quick breakdown. Gabya, of course, as you know, is poetry or poem. Pachende is want to read. That's the verb pa to read, followed by the auxiliary verb chende, want to. 
Now, if you say instead, "Jano di kabya piam pachende," "Jano di kabya piam pachende," it means I want to reread this poem, to read this poem again. The word "piam" by itself means to return to a point of origin, but when you put it in front of the main verb, it means to repeat that action, to do the same thing again. So, if you put too much salt or soy sauce in your dinner and ruin it, you might say. Chano nyaza pian cheme, chano nyaza pian cheme. I'll make this dinner again, or I'll remake the dinner. If you happen to like a particular movie and you want to watch it again, you would say, chano diyoshin pian chijende, chano diyoshin pian chijende. I want to watch this movie again. If you say something in Burmese and your audience doesn't seem to understand it, you might want to say, chano inglelo pian piome. I'll repeat this in English. When you meet somebody for the first time, the phrase to say "nice to meet you" is "tuiara one thabare." Tuiara one thabare. The operative verb is "tui," to meet, to encounter. So if you meet the same person again, you can also say "pian tuiara one thabare." Pian tuiara one thabare. It's nice to see you again. Normally, when I say goodbye at the end of a lesson, I say "nao ma tui me," "nao ma tui me," see you later. But today, I'll go ahead and say "nao ma pian tui me," "nao ma pian tui me." I'll see you again later. If you like this lesson and if you want to continue learning Burmese with me, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.